Welcome back to Aeons, and we're playing against the Wraith Monger. And we gotta do 38 damage to it to get rid of it before it can destroy us. Or Grave Hold. Uh, we will see how we can pull it off or not. Alright, shuffling the turn order deck. This might be pretty important this time, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, shuffled. Up first for episode today is Player 2, which is Adelheim. And he has a ton of precision shot spells loaded up and ready to go, but he only has one, two, three. He only has three cards in his discard pile. And he's going to be drawing four. Oh, man. He will fire off the spark spell <laughs> to get that into his discard pile. Now he has four cards in the discard pile. Uh, and the spark will do one damage to our nemesis, down to 37. All right. He is going to leave all of these here, and then he will put, he'll put the spark here. Oh no, he's hanging on to the spark. What am I doing? Whoa, whoa, he's going to hang on to, he's going to hang on to the spark spell. That's the plan. He has two, three, four ether. With four ether, he will open uh, breach four, which is a plus one damage breach. And then he will prep the Ignite in there. Uh, but hang on to the Spark Spell. Discarding his cards in any order. Yeah, this makes all perfect sense. Drawing up to five cards. One, one, two, three, four. Which means he now has these cards. And he's got more than six cards in his discard, I believe, now. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got seven. Which means every one of the Precision Shots now is plus two damage. So that's going to be two... That's going to be 8, 5, that's going to be 13 damage, 14, 15, 16. He can do 16 damage. Oh, yes. And that's his next hand. All right, back we go to turn order. Oh, yeah, we're coming for you, Wraithmonger. All right, I shouldn't have said that. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Yes, of course. When I wag my finger at him, then out he comes. All right. Card goes down, and one power comes off of this. We can't do anything about it. This is an unleash and remove the highest numbered claimed terror tile from the game. Well, we don't have any claimed terror tiles right now, so that would be a good time for that to... Oh, no, but once it... Uh, it unleashes first. Never mind. All right. What do we get here? It's a power. Uh, discard. Spent 8 Ether. Power 2. Gravehold suffers 5 damage for each Nemesis turn order card in the turn order discard pile. Hmm. Well, hmm. <laughs> we can handle it. That's 2 power. That means both of them are going to blast off at the same time. That is going to be devastating. However, that's the Nemesis turn, which didn't really do anything. He's building up though. This is bad. All right, back we go to turn order and it is player two. Oh, we are bringing some pain to the Wraithmonger. Oh, this is so good. All right, we have seven cards in the discard pile, which means all of the precision shots are going to be plus two damage. So let's, uh, let's do this in an order that makes sense. We're going to fire off the first two precision shots of breach one. So it's going to be, that's going to be a total of eight damage. Eight. And then we're going to fire off this one, which is three. That's eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. And Kadir gains a charge. I'm just doing that off screen. She gets a charge for this. So it's eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. And this is another five damage. That is uh, a total of 16 damage against this. So we're going to go down for to, from 37 uh, to 21 health in one shot. I love it. Uh, and fortunately, now my camera battery is dying. And we're going to come right back and continue with Adelheim's turn. Oh, that was satisfying. All right, 16 damage. And now what do we have? We have, uh, we have basically one, two, three, get all breaches open. So let's put precision shot in three, gives it a plus one damage. Uh, we'll stick the spark spell in two, because we want to get, well, it doesn't really matter. Now, obviously we'll stick it here because yeah, it's going to get plus one damage. 
And then he's got two, he's got three to spend, three to spend. And with three ether to spend, he's going to go ahead, you know what? Uh, no, for three ether to spend, he's going to go ahead and get one of these riddle spheres, because it's gained a charge, or you may lose two charges if you do gain five ether. Might be a good card to get. Plus it gets him some more cards. That's going to be it. And now we can go over to... Um, we are not going to do this, because Kadir, we don't want her to uh, mess up her discard pile, because then she can fire off Precision Shot for more damage. So an ally may draw a card. We don't have to. So we're not going to. Put these back in any order. We're going to flip over the deck for him. One, two, three, four, five. And this will be his hand for next time. Leeching Agate, Spark, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. So that's going to give him five. All right, back we go to turn order. Ooh, it's all good, I think. 21 health remaining. All right. Oh, ooh. Nemesis is going again. So this goes to one. It's a power. This power goes to one. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. They didn't fire off yet. It'll be next episode before they fire off. However, the Nemesis has got something else up his sleeve. And let's see what he's got. He's got another power. Power two. To discard, destroy two prepped spells that each cost three ether or more. <sighs> okay, what does it do? The player with the fewest terror tiles claims all of the terror tiles except for the lowest numbered terror tile without resolving them. Okay. Okay, and that's a power too. Hoi yoy. Alright, well that's going to be firing off next episode too. But that's it. Nothing really much happened. Let's see if we can hammer on the nemesis again. Whoops, turn order time. Oh yeah, and we get player one. All right, let's go over to player one, have her take her turn. Oh, that nemesis is getting a lot of stuff built up and it is gonna hammer on us big time. All right, we have a precision shot, which we are gonna fire off because it's in a plus one damage situation. And we also have more than six cards in a discard pile. So that's gonna be a total of five damage. Boom, five damage against the Nemesis-y. And that's going to take it down to 13. Whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> this is a grave hold. I get so excited I'm firing a grave hold. That's going to be, sorry, five damage. So one damage. Two, three, four, five. Down to 16 health for the Nemesis. Ooh, that's getting closer to being out of here. All right, and then uh, we have for Kadir. She's got one, two, three. With three ether, she is going to open her breach three, which is another plus one damage breach. And yep, she's got two ignites, one in each one of the plus one damage. So that's going to be six damage. I love it. Okay, and then she puts cards back in any order, which will be, of course, like that. Flips her cards over. One, two, three, four, five. And what does she have? Crystal! Emerald Shard at three sparks. Yeah, but the three sparks, you can put them in three and four, giving us plus one damage. It won't be quite as horrible as we thought. All right, back we go to turn order. And we already know the Nemesis has gone twice, so we know that this is player one. We're back to, yes, we're back to Kadir to go once more. Oh, this is so good. So she's going to fire off the double ignite spells. But they're both plus one damage. So that's six damage. Yes, we're doing six damage. And uh, Adelheim gets to gain two charges. I'm just going to do that off screen. So he's up to a total of three charges. And we just did six more damage to the Wraithmonger. Taking him right down to ten health. Ten. Ha, ha, ha. I love it. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of sparks. Well, we're going to put spark in four, a spark in three, a spark in two. So that's going to be two, four. That's at least five damage there. We have gain of life or two ether. Um, we will we'll spend the two ether. We'll gain a charge. We're going to try and pump our charges up. Put our cards back in any order. And yeah, five new ones. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like this game's gonna come down to turn order again for, for the win. One, two, three, four, five. I love it. Leeching agate. Oh, we don't have our super cool. Okay, but at least this will give us four ether. 
five. We get six ether total. Another ignite spell. It's all good. And I think that's it. That's the end of our episode for today. I cannot believe we're still hanging in there. We're doing actually fairly okay. Uh, let's wrap it up. All right, that's going to wrap it up. We got a total of five damage over here from uh, Kadir. We have a total of two, three, four. We got a, we got a total of five damage from K Kadir. A total of five damage from Adelheim. If Adelheim and Kadir go before the Nemesis next turn. It's out of here. All right, let's shuffle up. I cannot believe. Wow, this I thought this guy was absolutely the nastiest creature in the entire Aeon's End pantheon of beasts. But wow, uh, we have somehow not done too terrible. Of course, both these are going to fire off, and that is going to be absolutely brutal next time. But if we can survive the onslaught and dole out 10 more damage, we can pull it off. All right. Well, that's going to end off our episode for today. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Aeon's End. Playing with the expansion nemesis from the Outer Dark, the Wraith Monger. Got it on the ropes. We're both at seven health. I think we might pull it off, but you'll find out tomorrow because it's probably going to be the conclusion. I think we're just going to run it out uh, one way or the other. So thanks so much and hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation.